hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima so this is the part two of the series discussing my professional mbbs exam questions so if you've not seen the part one please go and see it in the part one i talked about my viva questions especially my anatomy viva questions and my biochemistry viva questions so in this particular video i am supposed to continue my story with about my distinction viva but before i continue there are some um, anatomy questions that i did not remember to drop in the previous video so i contacted my other colleagues that also had viva with me and my god their questions were not funny do you know my uncle that um, i was praying so hard that i don't get assigned to my cosmate said that he gave them real hard time do you know he actually took some of them to the cadaver <laughs> to go and dissect or bring out one organ or the other and he was asking so organ uh, what is the blood supply what is the venous drainage what is it this and he like he was so thorough that even those that were so so sound and intelligent in quotes he tried to make a mockery of them to make them look like as if they didn't know anything like it was not funny i just thank god for how everything went just when the first person came out oh mother she knows she knows smile i was like yeah if this person is not smiling who am i <laughs> i was like if this person can come out of this exam and it's not smiling god who am i now <laughs> next person came out Omo um, no smile oh. she even she was even crying i say yay if this person can cry god who am i <laughs> it was a terrible feeling i'm not see the way i'm even laughing see guys it was not funny oh, at all so it was now my turn immediately i got to that place i saw all my lecturers seated with the two external examiners my professors my heart just hey i nearly fainted oh. But thank God, I composed myself. I acted like a strong babe that I wasn't. <laughs> then how to act drama on my people. So that was it. They now asked me to sit down. I sat down. Come. I sat down. I, I put my my confidence. My confidence level at that moment was one million. I just told the Holy Spirit to take over. At my, I already called my mom. The first question the woman just blocked me with was, "Why is HIV called a retrovirus?" I wasn't thought to be honest i wasn't thought but i don't know somehow holy spirit gave me something to say i told her she was like okay you have an idea you have an idea what is the mechanism of action of the hiv virus i told her she now dragged me into recombinant dna technology into polymerase chain reaction i i i, I answered she was just blowing and hammering those questions those parts that you know medical students don't like that's where the woman was just hammering, hitting, and I just thank God. Every single thing that they asked me, I was not mute. I answered, what else did she even ask me again? I think she asked me something about introns and extrons. Then she asked me about the start codon, stop codon, what the start codon uh, code for, what do the stop codon code for, I was like, and I knew it was a tricky question, so because stop codons do not code for anything, but I told her what um, the start codon code is for. If you've not watched my tips and tricks for Viva, please go and watch it so that you understand what I'm saying here. So then, um, after the woman finished hit hitting me, he now went to the man. The man dragged me into COVID-19. I was like, God, they didn't teach me this thing. I, it was in my mind though. Physically, I was looking confident. They now asked me the COVID, um, what is the mechanism of action of the COVID virus? I, um, I told him, he now asked me, what is the covid receptor his questions were just based on covid based on angiotensin converting enzyme respiratory biochemistry you know mitochondria etc that's electron transport chain all those stuff i told him then my own lecturers now started hammering me questions that they asked questions that they taught me like why are alcoholics advised to take vitamins and what kind of vit vitamins are they advised to take as what they asked and so many other questions which i can't remember now but when i remember others i am definitely going to put them 
another question that i was the man asked me was what's the relationship between covid19 vaccine is it vaccine or the covid19 virus itself and mutation my god <laughs> that's that question hit me like a blue but as usual the holy spirit put the right words in my mouth and it was like mm, okay okay you tried to be honest the question most of the questions that he asked me were things i was not taught and things that required deep knowledge but i thank god for the holy spirit i was able to look for how to combine my knowledge of everything that i was taught then they actually um, gave me a scenario like a rape scenario and they were like the lady pulled out the hair of the rapist and you were asked to analyze this it's just a question like that and the woman was like how what method what um, forensic method are you going to are you going to use to analyze the sample and i started thinking out loud i was like okay these are the methods that i can remember i listed the six that was taught and i told her okay i can't use also method because hair is made up of keratin and keratin is a protein and blah 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 so because of this i'm going to use also method like the way i analyze this questionnaire the woman was like even my lecturers in there they were just like wow like they were nodding they were really really impressed and when i finished my faculty faculty exam officer shook my hand and he was like wow rina you did well you did very well i was like wow god i'm grateful <sighs> okay for the physiology viva by that time i didn't even bother myself reading. by that time i wasn't sick anymore I wasn't even bothered the it was just one external examiner it was my turn i walked in i greeted him it was like this and this he asked me of my name i told him it was like where are you from i told him where i'm from it's like okay so they're telling me of how he served in my place and t telling me stories about how he served in my place i was like oh nice i was thinking the man was nice so but he now started bombarding me with questions but though the questions were reasonable he asked me the difference between injection fraction and stroke volume yes i told him about that he now asked me about the cardiac cycle which i told him after telling him about that, he asked me of the um, cardiac output. So what do you understand by cardiac output? I told him. Then he now rounded it up by asking me about post postprandial somnolence. I told him what I understood about postprandial somnolence, but he didn't f seem really convinced. He wanted me to tell him about the mechanism of action, the real serious physiology of it. But to be honest, I was not taught. So he was like, I didn't tell him I was not taught to try am i mad <laughs> i just looked for whatever holy spirit was just shooking inside my head and then i told him i was like okay that's good after this make sure you go and research more about it i was like yeah thank you sir and that was it i was done i was done 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 <laughs> so that is it about my viva questions if you are preparing for viva i know it's very scary but don't worry just watch my viva tips and tricks watch this particular video and you'll be fine so the next video I'm going to upload will be on anatomy questions. Watch. I'll be prepared. Bye.